Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Mood. Mood Synthesizer from Apesoft. Okay. So I'm not going to be a full tutorial, but we are going to explore the synth engine and stuff like this. And play, uh, probably get through lots of the sounds and we can have a mess around with uh, changing some of those up as well. So hopefully by the end of the video, you'll have a good idea of how the synthesizer works. Like most synthesizers, it's based on virtual analog. Well, it's analog. Based on virtual, uh, it's virtual analog synth. <laughs> Subtractive synth, but it does a few cool things like we can import wave files and stuff like that and do cool stuff with them So we'll have a look at that as well. Okay, so Whatever patch you're on right? So for instance if if cancel this and go to this one it Also does FM as well as You can probably hear from this <coughs> If you want to initialize any patch you tap on it and just hit init here just let me see if you can see that okay on the screen okay yeah it's all right so initialize yes Let's see if i can get it a little bit darker for you any darker than i can't see you see i don't know and also i'll just see if i can yeah just let's see if i can make that a little bit more kind of square in the picture that might be a little bit better anyway so now now i've messed around you know the professional that i am like <laughs> what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to further adjust it so it's more or less like um it's close to the fm engine more or less like a normal sort of sawtooth wave and then we can kind of build on something from that first so as you can hear it's got two oscillators running at the moment so i'm going to turn off oscillator two and you'll hit, see that the filter is kind of half open half close so i'm going to fully open the filter take the resonance down Put the envelope amount back to about zero for that. And make the envelope really snappy. We're going to go into page two here, page two. And this is where you'll find your uh, LFO for basically your, more or less your modulation. And we see we have a reverb switched on. We can turn that off. And we've also got a delay turned on. We can switch that off. And now we're more or less back to a kind of a standard saw, sawtooth wave. And I'm going to run through the oscillator and stuff like this. So we go back to page one here. Uh, don't worry too much about the tracking controls. They're kind of, you can add your portmento, your mod mix, stuff like this. I don't understand all that. I haven't messed with it. Now you'll see straight away I'm playing a chord but it's only a mono sound. If we want a poly, the first thing you want to do is engage the poly button up here. And now we can play chords. And you'll see we have a nice little oscillator down here. So one oscillator, so this is level oscillator one volume. Here is the range. And it will go extremely low. And extremely high. We leave it on 16th. And we have kind of a parameter drift. Which is called slop. And then we have our waveform selector. And we have three oscillators. But we also have an, an FM. It's kind of like an FM oscillator as well. Which has nothing to do with these. And also uh, the ability to play a wave file and do interesting things with that as well. I'd like to say hi to everyone who's here as well. Hi, Andy. Hello, Joe. Hi, Sam. Uh, Sam's in the middle of culling, culling all his synth apps. Uh, Col hi, Colin. Um, hi, Wigglers. Hi, Hubert. Um, 
I uh, and anyone else who may be watching who hasn't said anything, but hello. Anyway. Then we have our filter. Uh, I'll sweep through the filter, but I shall turn it up a little bit. So I'll sweep through the filter. It's very creamy. <laughs> And then we'll run, drive the resonance up, put the filter about halfway so you can hear that. Nice. So we have envelope amount. Which will have our ADSR affecting our filter. And then you have um, an ADSR, you know, an ADSR here. With up to 16 seconds release. Which is quite a long time. Okay, so there we go. There's a, a basic saw, a, a basic saw wave. We also have a a really nice triangle wave or a sine wave, if you like, as well. I think it's a sine wave. I can hardly see it. I think it's a sine. Then we have a sine wave. Then our sawtooth wave. Then a square. Then pulse width. Pulse wave, sorry. and then another pulse wave. That's our filter envelope, by the way, sorry. you enjoy your dinner okay so that's it's oscillator one when we blend this with oscillate let's open up the filter when we blend this with oscillator two we can drop the level a little bit you'll get this as lovely now so we've got uh this pulse wave on here but i'll put it back to a uh, sawtooth so now we've got suit two sawtooths and we can adjust the range but we'll leave them both on 16. And the, the frequency now we can drift. We, we can, you know. And it'll go plus or minus seven semitones. So it's kind of, if you go all the way to the top, it's instant. Instant prog fit. We can change the color of it. This is nice, right? I like this. We can, if we double tap on it, this is where we enter our modulation section if we want to as well. We can change the color of any of the buttons. Now this comes in handy if you're applying, say, modulation to something. Say we wanted to modulate frequency to with something or other. If we double tap on it and we go into the little section here, I hope you can see this okay. When I'm just, let me check on the screen when it comes on. Okay, well, in the top right hand corner, there's three little, it's kind of little icon here. And this opens up the modulation section. I will try and definitely get this a little bit darker so you can see it for now. I'll just wait and see. Okay, if you tap on this, this is your modulate. You've, and now we've now employed modulation for the control. 
this is the range. And we have different wave shapes. Sample and hold. And then like a smoothing uh, sample and hold. Let's go back to sine wave. our frequency done and that's now modulating this and if we want to take our modulation off we just switch it off and we can retune it I'm definitely going to have to brighten up a little bit because I can't see it. So let's say for a second oscillator and doing a bit of messing around with the frequency. It's still a really nice sound. So you kind of get that, right? That This is the main page of the synth where you can just play around with. We have a third oscillator as well. And we have some cool stuff we can do with samples, which I'm going to show you, show you in a sec. But first of all, I just want to show you how you can get some modulation going on your kind of uh, your modulation wheel, which I'm using a little key step. So if we go into page two here, this XLFO. This is where you can send your modulation to the to the wheel. So if we just send it to oscillator one and two because they've both been used, we switch it on before. We don't need to send it yet, but we'll get we'll get modulation. Let's take it down to a sine wave. And we have a delay for this and a rate and a depth. So. And you'll also have a delay. An attack. And then different waveforms. And this last waveform here. It's like an ARP, we can show you this as well, but let's take the delay down so we're just getting that modulation for the sine wave, but let's switch mod wheel on and now all this is now assigned to the mod wheel. Notice we've got other effects here. We have a distortion, a reverb, a ring modulator, and a stereo delay. Which makes it, it very, very powerful indeed. So this is still a nice sound. Let's go back to page one and just have a look, look another look at a couple of the other bits and pieces. If we turn off oscillator one and we switch on the FM. We can actually we can leave oscillator one on it doesn't matter <laughs> but we can if we turn the volumes down or switch them off we can just listen to the fm and we have an envelope for this and we have a filter envelope as well. It's an index envelope. So you can mess around with the FM if you like. Sounds nice when you blend it in with your other oscillators though. And then 
and you can go in and have a mess. <laughs> Like I said, we have a third oscillator, which is an ordinary oscillator. We also have a noise oscillator, so we can turn that on. And the noise oscillator, if we switch all our other, other, other oscillators off, the noise oscillator has two, two colours. It has white and pink. Pink's darker. And we have a... We also have a an independent, right? So... We can you have it linked to the ordinary ADSR, right? But, or we can use its own envelope. Now that's really that's really nice. Sounds like a train. That's our third oscillator, which we haven't messed with yet. But... What's nice about this, having the separate envelope for the noise, is that you can get like, you know if you blow a flute or something, it's an initial pff, like that. You can set things up like that for, for this. So if we, if we had it on a, like a, say, square wave and we kind of and we... but we set our to have a fast attack let's turn it up so we can hear it and a very fast you've got that kind of a initial get it even more if you if we had these on say one on a triangle and then we could fix the mixed suit So now you've got like a kind of a blowy kind of, but you've also got the, the human-ish element part of the fact that you've got that initial that you'd get with a flute or something. So the last oscillator we have, kind of oscillator, is we have this, it says level warp, but that's just the level. It's a, uh, just turn these off so you can, and that one. If we go in here, we've got this, um, it's a, uh, it's a wave thing. I'm going to import another one. So open our browser here and let's import this. You can use your own waves or you, there's, a, there's tons included. We can just go load sample now. We've got 
jitter control, phase, speed, and we can also tune it. If we hit this, we can we can set it, turn the jitter down. You can record your own in as well. So you can choose that. You can choose a wave. Close it any time you like. And then. Blend it with your other. Blend it with your other sounds. And like I said before, anything, anything in all of Apesoft's, Apesoft's instruments, you can modulate everything. oscillators now so let's just initialize that because it's you know not very good and let's have a look at the effects so in the first section the xlfo which we had a look at just where you can apply your modulations your your modulation where you can apply your modulation modulations to things including the filter let's take off the filter let's take the decay down and the attack this first one it defaults to is this ARP edit, which is like an ARP, you, it's I go like an arpeggiator that you can kind of program, program as you wish. Now, I don't know what happens if I'm which we're going to find out now. Um, how do I get off my clothes? There it is. I'm just going to make this polyphonic. And go back to the page. Yeah, this is polyphonic. So can we draw in? No, we can't draw in. But we can scale it in like that. And remember, you're not going to say any notes or anything. This will be... This will be semitones, I guess. So maybe we could do this. Oh no, that's switching it off. So yeah. So we could do something cool like that now, I suppose. Cool. Cool beans. And this is note relative. So lots of cool stuff in here. I mean, we can close this. Close that. And, come. and then you're back to your normal kind of modulation -y things. Right, so then we have our stereo delay, which is on. You can hear. I'm going to turn that off. That's nice. So we've got the cutoff will affect the delay over time. Is it going to feedback? Yeah. 
No, it's not going to self oscillate. That's a good thing. Okay, so we'll just turn the delay off. We have a reverb as well. Now the reverb is really nice. You have two reverb engines, vintage and modern. We have a swig of me drink, I'm thirsty. It's all the talking. If you're enjoying the video so far, please strike the like or subscribe if you're not subscribed. Consider becoming a patron, help support what me and Joe do here at the Sound Test Room. Right, so let's give this a little bit of extra. Volume. Oh, you also have an overall general pitch trim. And then you can tap this uh, little um, tuning fork in the middle to return to. Thingy. Anyway, we're on effects. So, reverb maximum. Let's go with uh, quite a, a wet, so just over 50%, maybe about 65% reverb. Thank you, Andy. my filter a minute let's give it some let's give it some more resonance close that down a little bit more that of modulation off. Go down an octave and we've got kind of in the realms of we've got how many oscillators we got one two we're in the realms of um the kind of thing that Rush did with Tom Sawyer the bass where the the, the filter envelope is really it's got quite a lot of resonance on it as well. It's quite a little bit faster than that, actually, so we can decrease the the decay. And it, it's nice because... We can actually, if we really want to do it something nice, we can... That's a really good reverb, that is. Oh. The, damp the damping is nice as well. A bit more, a bit extreme on the resonance, so. So if we bring that piano sample back in, it, it starts to get really nice and droney. some key velocity settings in this section as well by tapping the little three dots in the middle. We 
We also have tons of cool stuff here, like you can change the colors, you can use the gyroscope mode, you can see the samples that are in there as well if you want to. Like if we wanted to change that sample out, though, we could just go into the sample management. <laughs> Swap out the sample for, oh, I don't know, what's built-in samples. We can import something from the uh, files app. Maybe, uh, what's this, harsh industrial effects. And then just it'll appear down here in the shared folder. And we can just tap it, load sample. <laughs> do it like that so let's just hear what that is is something one of mine but um, we can just hear it so it's cool we can do loads of special effect stuff by using the samples as well and that's going through that reverb as well of course <laughs> some interesting stuff with the FM engine and that sample let's I know let's just get an interesting sound with the FM oh that's modulate this double tap it tap on our little thing here switch our modulation on which is at the far side let's have this instead of modulating with a sine wave let's have it modulating with that kind of uh, smooth that sample and hold let's go back to our um main page and switch on our sample or sample it, it does you can kind of do granular with it and yeah because you can go really tight if i turn this off go into the sample engine and we kind of run this like this very close and then It's not really, it's not going granular enough to do, to, to be really granular, but. Very cool. So last part of the effects is the ring modulator. So I will apply this ring modulator to this to this kind of um, weird soundscape type sound. But I'll just for a moment I'll switch on oscillator one and two. Hell's bells will switch on three as well. I will make three into a sub oscillator. Too deep. So we'll make it into. And we'll slightly detune it. And have it as a sine wave. Hi, Chord Master. How are you? Right, so let's go back into our effects for a moment. Let's switch off the reverb, which is a bit. Oh, while we've got this reverb maxed out kind of thing, I'll open a dampen. We'll switch from modern to that's vintage. 
vintage is more kind of bucket brigadey. It's shorter and it's darker. And then the modern. So, depending on the kind of vibe you'll go for. If you were making a, like a, a, an electric piano sound, we'll make an electric piano sound in a minute, like a roadsy type thing. The vintage might be really nice with some really fast. But look, the ring modulator. Will someone get on the bots? bots the plague of the internet um, exactly Ex the, the, and you can't they can't even put in a, a a link anymore exactly there's no there is no point Sam there's some bozo paying some other bozo to post links that are pointless right anyway ring modulator Different waveforms through the ring modulator are nice. So this sign, let's mix it right in. Let's also engage the, um, the, 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 the envelope for the ring modulator. So. Try the different way. Oh, that's nice. So, like, it's a sh it's sharing this. Um, if we have its envelope turned off, just like the noise, it shares the main envelope. And of course. Like any control, let's double tap this and give this a color blue. And then. Or maybe a nice orange. Double tap it again. We can modulate it. With a ramp down. Not quite, let's go super wide. But super fast. And it's nice, it shows you the shape in the center of the control. <laughs> but you might hear that a lot better if we actually slowed it down. So it might be a bit quick. So go back into our modulation. Bring the reverb back in. Put some delay back on. Let's go bonkers now and bring back in our, um, before we get to the distortion, let's go and bring back in our um, FM. And our weird thing. 
Now, now this is cool. You've got a playable soundscape. Awesome. I mean, we can even modulate everything. You can modulate everything. Anything with a knob. <laughs> can you modulate me? Oh, it's cool. It's it's super cool, especially if we use the arpeggiator thing. Switch it on. It's very cool. Okay, so let's switch that off because it's a bit mental. And just for a moment, let's switch off the ring mod. Go back here and switch off our... Well, we'll leave the FM on. Let's look at the distortion. So the last one is the distortion. Let's turn it on. So clean. It. it gives a really nice boost to the sound as well. Back with the delay. That's sync it. If you the little the little chain will sync it to the tempo. Which is 120 BPM, which you could change up here. Goes. Do you know what, Joe? Thought that was a bot. <laughs> You're lucky I didn't time you out. <laughs> I, look, I really, really like the feedback. It's just brilliant. Put, the, put that back on. <laughs> and the ring mod. Let's put some noise in. But let's... Let's make it pink. And... So, we've managed to create an awesomely brilliant patch. <laughs> Plus explain the whole scene. And so I think, yeah, I think mood is awesome. I've always liked mood, but it's it's really strange that since I've started to actually learn how to program all these synths and stuff, it's surprising how much, once you know how one works, how you can apply all that kind of knowledge to any other synth sort of thing. Um, but it's nice to revisit all this stuff because 
now I'm not just playing with presets. It, it opens up a whole new world, which is really great. Really great. Um, so there's a couple of synths we'll be uh, also. I'll, I'm, I'm also uh, kind of learning. One of them is uh, layer. Uh, you know, I love layer anyway, but I'm going to learn how to program it. Layer is not actually that difficult to program. There's just a lot of programming to do if you want to make a really super patch. Anyway, guys, thank you so much, so much for joining me this evening. Joe's cooking a, a, a roast. Awesome. I'm hungry. And I'm sure if I'm not back tomorrow, I'll be back the next day with something or other. So, yeah, that was kind of a couple of patches from scratches. And we, we went through everything, the oscillators and stuff. I will play out open for the open preset. I will play out with a few... Factory patches. portmanteau as well I should say it's quite a long time epic stuff <laughs> I'll play a few more patches and stuff guys I'll close the microphone thank you very much for joining me bless you all seriously I, you know we, we do appreciate it I will see you all later today. Thank you.